Hello Leo, we're going to go ahead and do a reading here about your future self. What your future self wants you to know between now and the end of the year and possibly going into 2023. So let's look at these guided messages from your future self and see what they can do to help you between now and the end of the year. And I hope you're all doing well. If you'd like a personal reading, something more specific for you, that information is down below in the comment section. So let's look at your guided messages, Leo. What does your future self want you to know? between now and the end of the year. Wow, you're in your own reading. We have the Leo, the strength. They really want you to have some courage and passion. I do feel that you've been trying to go too fast. You've been going too fast and some things are not working the way that you want them to. They want you to stop, pause, and just take a minute here and look at something. There's something you're going to complete between now and the end of the year, Leo. You are accomplishing quite a bit. I do have the Hermit card here. There's something that's going to bring you a wholeness here. It's going to align you, okay? It's going to fulfill you. You're going to have a lot of travel next year in 2023 as well. There's a lot of celebrations between now and then end of the year. They said next year, end of this year, going into next year. Whatever the situation is, stop and pause and look at that for a minute. You're going to be invited to a lot of social gatherings, activities, internet. If you're doing something online, it's really taking off. And in 2023, you're going to be extremely busy with job and work. There's going to be a lot of texting, a lot of communication. Check your spam. There's quite a bit of things that are coming in that are just really going to move at a speed of light here for you. So whatever the situation is, you have movement. What has not been moving, what has been stuck or stale or stagnated, Leo, there's a swift change coming in. There's sudden action coming in. You're manifesting something quickly here. You're going to have a lot of results. You are going to have to make some decisions. They want you to kind of pause for just a minute before you go into 2023 to make sure this is what you want with business and with love. You do have a lot of travel with the Eight of Wands here. You also are in your own reading, Leo. So you have a lot of passion here. You are, you know, keep your strength with that. Keep your head up. Other people may be trying to detour you over here and talk you out of something. And some things, no, they have not been working, your higher self says. But there is something between now and the end of the year that when you think about it and you're going to take it into 2023, it really manifests for you. So stay the course. Steady, okay? Keep being um, persistent in what you do. It's your inner strength. You're going to be focusing with compassion. You're actually manifesting what you desire with love or business. Something that not has not been working is going to work and it's going to push you into 2023 with a lot of success. So let's go ahead and take a look at some other cards. What else, Leo, does your future self want you to know? I do feel there's a relationship here that may have been on pause and it's going to pick back up. And this could be a love relationship, family connection, whatever you're here for. But there's a relationship. Your future self says, take a second look. It could have been difficult. You may have had disagreements, arguments, fights, whatever the situation is. I need you to look at that is what they're saying before you take it into 2023. Okay. Yeah, be cautious with that. Okay. Find the healing and balance in whatever it is that you're doing. And so they want you to shed the old ways, especially since autumn, fall, October. Uh, be very cautious. You may not be thinking clearly or somebody else may not be thinking clearly. And they've been actually causing you confusion. Okay. And they want you to heal and balance your emotions here. Just do some healing because somebody's been not thinking clearly here, but they want you to release that. Think about it. Is it your feelings or is it someone else's feelings? Because you're shedding the old ways here. This is not your energy. Don't claim it. There's a huge shift and change coming time for a new birth, new opportunities, new beginnings here. They really want you to take control of the situation because something's going to go really fast, Leo. You're really going to be busy. Between now and the end of the year, something is picking up. Your social gatherings, marketing, your business, your calendar, your social ca calendar. Yes, there's holidays, but you're not going to know what, what party to go to, what social gathering to go to. Everybody's going to want you, and it can be overwhelming. But there's a major shift and change that's coming here for you. They, again, they say they want you to persist in whatever this is that you're uh, pursuing. Keep going. You're reaping what you sow. It's right here. Okay, you're really reaping what you sow. Something is very powerful, too, came out. We'll grab those. The veils are parting. They have been parting since the month of October. You have ancestors, guides, and guardians helping you along with your higher self. They want you to apply your past lessons. What did not work for you? Don't try to make it go into 2023, okay? There's something here that you definitely need to release so that you can have and manifest what you desire. 
there is a relationship you may not take. You may let it go, and it happens really quick, okay? They may let you go, you may let them go, or it's already happened between now and the end of the year. And you need to pause and think about that and apply your past lessons on why. Don't, don't get caught too much up in your head. Just kind of acknowledge and accept your higher self says so that when you go into 2023, all the success is within reach. It's, you're reaping what you sow. Everything is within reach. You do not. There's no more struggle. There's no more struggle for you in 2023. No more struggle. Boy, but you are definitely going to be traveling. You have a lot of traveling coming in for you here. So your dream job, you could be relocating with a, with a home. You could be falling in love with someone and move in with them because maybe they're the breadwinner. Whatever this is, they want you to make sure your higher self says your soul space. Don't compromise. Don't water down your ideas. They're important, okay? They want you to listen and trust and follow your voice. It's important you stay true to yourself, Leo. You're going to be nurturing yourself between now and the end of the year. You're investing time for self-care. You've not really given yourself a lot, okay? You've been giving it away to others. There is something now that's going to give you more energy for later. But right now you need to rest and pause. And that makes sense while we have the Hermit card. Things are a little bit slow, but get ready. Because before the end of the year, they start to pick right back up and take you into 2023. Your life purpose involves traveling, whether that's going from city to city, town to town, or literally marketing sales, um, resources is what I'm hearing, a lot of money, real estate, property, okay, that's coming in, computer network, IT, whatever the situation is, you're supposed to go from this destination to this one and this one. You're really not supposed to stay in any position too long as far as you could stay with the company. But for some of you, I feel like your job will be picking you up. I set this company up. I train. I help. Then I go to this city. Then I go to this city. That's for some of you. Others, it's like instead of worrying, they're saying, ask for divine guidance. Ask your higher self, your future self to help you. So talk to your angels, your guides, your guardians. There's no need to worry because something's coming in with a speed of light. It can be overwhelming. There's some higher education here for you. Pay attention to your dreams as well. Leo, they're saying you're receiving divine guidance. So while you're sleeping, even if you don't remember the dream, the answers are coming in in your unconscious mind. So they're going to appear before you during the day when you're awake. So whatever that is, that's numbers. If you're looking at angel numbers, if you get something that pops in your head, a song that you hadn't heard in years, and then all of a sudden you see that person or you go back to that building or that scenario or that they're saying club for some of you you may go visit a club and remember what it was like eight to ten years ago pay attention to your dreams okay some of you leo between now and the end of the year you're really going to do some research you're doing some higher education um, this is going to pull your confidence up you're going to have clarity about your career too you may be shifting and changing a career whatever this is they want you to study research what however it is online course if you're just going back to school uh, if you're just watching you know youtube videos whatever the situation is they really want you to get it together and move forward so let's look at some final cards here for you leo you're going to be busy between now and the end of the year and 2023 is a major shift shift and change of travel new position here as well um, yeah don't compromise there's something here that you're investing your time with that's really going to manifest for you it's a huge year for you okay look at that serpentipity everything is going in your favor take a leap of faith you want they're asking you to try something new here Whatever this is, ask and you shall receive. You're balancing your emotions. There is something here that's going to another level. A job, career, finances. There is a love that's going to a different level as well. So, But you need to be fair and you need to be fair and honest to yourself. They're asking you to trust yourself and don't compromise because that's going to hurt you. Pay attention, be true to yourself, own your power, and move forward. Thank you so much for being here. Stay focused and blessed.